VTubing on console is not something many people think they could do or even consider doing. By the end of this video, you're gonna have the knowledge and know-how to VTube with your Xbox or PlayStation. My name is Anubis Lives and I am your VTuber Senpai. And on this channel, we cover anything and everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. So if you happen to like today's content and found it useful, please consider smashing that like button. Leave me a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, consider subscribing. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you happen to like today's content, please smash that subscribe button. And well, let's get into it. So a quick little TLDR. The reason why we need a potato of a PC, something that's very low spec and low end, is because there's no VR applications that are on Xbox or PlayStation. So we do need to have that PC connectivity, but trust me, you're not gonna need much of a PC for this to work. In fact, the only kind of PC you're gonna need is the ability just to stream at 720p at 30 fps or 60 fps even and because your game isn't loaded on the pc itself the requirements just to grab that input and shoot it back out isn't going to be high in fact one of my viewers that actually helped set all this up for actually has an eight year old dell pc and it actually streamed at 720p at 30 to 60 fps no problem so we actually have two different methods that we can use to actually make this work for us. Let's start with the first method. So our first method is to actually stream the console onto our PC using either via Xbox companion app for Xbox or PlayStation Remote Play for PlayStation. Since I don't actually own these consoles, I will link in the description bar down below video guides that I highly suggest that you follow to set up your companion guides for your respective console. But once all that is set up, all you really need to do is honestly watch my other videos on the VTubing software that you need to set up, add your avatar into it, and then move your avatar from the bottom part of the source list all the way to the top and your console right below it. Then you're honestly ready to stream with your VTubing avatar. And the great thing about this is because with your Xbox companion app or your PlayStation Remote Play, this is 100% free. You don't need to go out and buy a capture card or you don't have to play with any weird settings. All you gotta really do is follow those videos, set it up, move your avatar around, you're good to go. Okay, so this second method is really meant for people that really have a horrible computer, they really can't stream from it whatsoever. You really, really, really have a piece of, well, worse than a potato. This next method though, will have a small subscription fee attached to it, roughly $8 USD a month. But believe me, at the end of the day, this is really, really, really worth it and really easy to use. So all you're really gonna need your computer for is to load up the VTubing application of your choice, load your model into it, and we're gonna actually use the virtual webcam option inside the software itself so we can transmit it to, well, a website like Go Light Stream. If you haven't seen my video on how to make any VTubing software a virtual webcam, go check that out right now. But in most software, what you can do is head to settings, general settings, scroll down just a little bit and hit enable virtual camera for this session. Once you do that, just hit the X, you're good to go. Now I will link a video for Go Light Stream down in the description below on how to set it up on Xbox and again on PlayStation. Very simple to do. So once you are done setting up your Xbox or your PlayStation, all you gotta do is head to golightstream.com click on start streaming on the bottom left hand side, you will be asked to authorize your credentials for either Twitch or YouTube, click authorize. It does have a free seven day trial, but it will ask you to pay for it after the seven days, just do what it says. And then basically you're good to go from there. But here we are on their default page. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on layers, camera, then what we're going to do is scroll down until we find the appropriate camera for us. 
and it will take a little bit of time to load but once you see the camera you want to select all you really need to do is select onto that camera itself it'll load up as a source and then there you go now from this website you can actually go live it'll handle all the different bit rate processing all that fun stuff for you so really all you're doing is using your pc as an oversized webcam now that you have two different ways to vtube on console are you going to start vtubing on your console let me know down in the description below or do you have any other solutions or ways that you could vtube from your console again give me some suggestions down in the description below other than that my name's Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.